Hey, George Morris here. I just wanted to go through the scaling up one page personal plan. I have some modifications I've made to this, but we're sharing out my plan from March of 2022, just to give you an example of what this actually looks like. This tool is really useful in making sure that your team is in alignment with each other, with the company, and you can kind of see where people want to go, where they want to grow. But really what we want to do is we want to look at this um, kind of like a corollary between the business. With the business, you have people, strategy, execution, and cash. Those are your four disciplines, your four decisions. In the personal side of this, you have relationships, achievements, rituals, and wealth. So we want to think about this in terms of our aspirational, and then we want to get into some actions here where we have activities. Personally, I would uh, suggest that you avoid looking at this column here. These are kind of values to remind you of things. What I suggest to people instead is develop your own set of core values and then compare what you're doing here with your core values to see if they're in alignment or not. Anyway, we're gonna look at the top level here. We wanna be as descriptive as possible. In this case, loving and supportive primary relationship with my spouse or girlfriend. Since I'm in a relationship right now, but we're not married, maybe we're together, maybe we're not. I really don't know what that looks like, but I do know that I want a supportive, loving relationship in the future. So we set that out at 10 to 25 years. The next step that we get into is activities. Let's focus deeper in terms of what things are we gonna get done this year in the next 12 months. In the case of achievements, one of the things for me that I really wanna work on is writing a book around the idea of a four by four week. It's four hours a day, four days a week. So I need to take an action there by creating a workshop, a virtual workshop based on that concept. And we can drill that down a little bit more, but I'm just gonna give you that example there. And then what we wanna do is look at things from a 90 day perspective. What is the next quarter look like? The next 90 days, what are the things for us to start doing and also stop doing? So in the case of this side where I have my rituals, I wanna focus on exercise. 10 to 15 years, 20 years from now, I wanna be exercising. I wanna be healthier than I am now, right? So in the next year, I really wanna work out a minimum of 30 minutes each day, just a little cardio, not much. So in the next 90 days, the goal is not so much get my butt to the gym five, seven days a week, but it's to work on like, what is that outcome? Well, if I'm exercising, my blood pressure is going to go down. If I'm exercising, my variable heart rate will drop, right? These are the outcomes that we want to focus on. And then lastly, what do I want to stop? What are the things that I'm doing that are just not serving me anymore? And you want to get really conscious about that. So in the case of mine here, achievements, one thing that I had to stop doing was day trading. I was really enjoying day trading, but I was day trading my 401k. So it really wasn't benefiting me today. I need to start doing things that benefit me today and not 20, 25 years from now. So I had to stop doing day trading and also avoiding sales outreach. I'll be honest, one of the places that I am weakest in is doing the one-on-one -on -one outreach to get new business. I'm really good at the one-to-many, but when it comes to the one-on-one, -on -one, not so hot. So I have to stop avoiding and start reaching out to people one-on-one. -on -one. Hopefully that gives you a quick whirlwind example of what a one-page personal plan looks like. If you have any questions, hit me up. You can hit me on my WhatsApp anytime you want, and I'll be happy to talk to you.